Ooh, that is so good. So good. Damn. Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to be doing another daily challenge. The today's daily challenge will be, well it's actually been Friday's one but I didn't get time to do it yet so we are backtracking before the next one is released. But I digress, uh, the daily challenge is to use the sentinel with execution of souls and then we need to play with poison. So we are going to be playing with poison bolt, festering strike and a uh, poison bomb we do need to uh, get rid of bloodlust as well as not use any fire skills whatsoever uh, i do i'm not going to banish bloodlust because i have a weird feeling that if you banish it the other buffs don't show up in the skill shop i don't know I did do a run, a successful run, obviously, you know, always good to do successful runs. I uh, did a run already with this where I tried to get it and for the life of me, I could not find any of the buffs. Um, so I couldn't get rid of my splitting arrow. Which is uh, poofy because we want to get rid of those. Also, we, uh, I really enjoy, I feel personally that my RNG is better when I use multiple level ups at once. So we like to stack those levels up. So we'll, we'll wait till about three or four levels and then we'll go for a level up then. Yes, I know, I'm not looking for the most, uh, the best harm or anything like that. I'm not trying to speed run the game. I just feel like for me personally, it's better to use four levels up at once than it would be to use one. Just my RNG for some reason is better. It's just a personal thing. All right, so we are going to grab the attack speed first. We get ourselves poison bond with the bat. Uh, grab some area of effect. We whew, look at that, a nice double cast for poison bomb. Beautiful, and we grab some mart. So now, unfortunately, I give spread shot a, a double cast as well. So it's okay, it's not the end of the world, but at least our poison bomb is double cast as well. We do, however, need to get rid of our spread shot as soon as possible. Okay, crit chance, air of effect. We are going to be getting as much crit as possible, obviously. But let's see how it goes. Also, uh just say it in the beginning here guys uh, we have been playing quite a bit of tower fantasy if that's something you would all like to see gameplay of or just videos of in general let me know down in the comments and we can arrange something like that as well but otherwise uh, yeah we've got four levels i'm not going to banish it um not yet at least i know we're not allowed to use it but i really really feel like if we banish a buff i'm not getting the others so i will take other buffs first and if it shows up in the shop later on i will then banish it but until then i'm not gonna banish that skill it's just yeah i found that i wasn't getting any of these buffs by banishing Bloodlust. We just won't use it. All right. Again, we've still got double cast, which is really, really cool. You see why you 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 take a couple of levels at once? Because then you get legendary power-ups. 
You know, that doesn't happen if you go one at a time. Probably does, but... With my RNG, and the way the game likes me, I like to level up multiple times at once. So we take expansive, we're gonna take some health because why not, and we found ourselves Poison Bolt. So now all we need to do is find our Pestering Strike and then we have everything. So hopefully we can get it as soon as possible. We do have a double cast Legendary which works on Poison Bolt as well which is really really nice. Because that just means extra stacks of poison on everything. And who doesn't like poisoning goblins? That's what I thought. <clears throat> no one. We don't need magnetism. Uh, we'll grab the movement speed because I have a very good feeling that we are going to grab a, a rare leviathan upgrade because 30% increased damage is just too juicy to to leave all right we finally got rid of split shot we are still looking for festering strike because the other two skills are, are very slow but at least now we are purely poison damage all right, yay, increased damage. Uh, we're only looking for a rare one, so we're not grabbing that. And some attack speed or cooldown reduction. Because every skill has an attack farm, so the more attack speed you have, the faster you your attack time goes down. Okay, waiting for another level at least, or two. But you know, it's still early. Once you get to about like level 40 something, then we can level up one level at a time. But when you get all this juicy experience so quickly in the beginning of the game, we can wait for about four or five levels. And there's the rare Leviathan that reduces our movement speed but because we grabbed a bit of movement speed already it does not affect us okay we'll go crit potency and 15 percent increased damage so essentially what you're looking for buff wise is literally crit crit potency attack speed and even area of effect would be great but other than that then flat damage <clears throat> If you're looking to do silly shenanigans and things like that then you just grab as much aoe as possible and you would see the entire screen full of poison okay come on okay we don't need block we're not gonna grab that so damage crit movement speed we're still looking for Festering Strike. We'll probably get rid of, I think it's... Uh... Oof, that is so good. So good. Damn! Okay, we are looking to get rid of our Piercing Shot. Oh, but now our Poison Bolt and our Poison Bomb have three... Costs, which is really really good and we're just waiting for festering strike and then festering strike is going to get itself a two costs unfortunately we don't get three costs on it yet but you know we could land up getting another legendary power up i think uh lady rng is on my side today if maybe we could get ourselves the actual skill because you know it doesn't look like it's showing up 
we don't need it. Um, the daily challenges do say that if you don't get the actual skill, then you know you can't do anything about it. But you're not allowed to skip banish the actual playable skills. So you need to take Festering Strike if it's one of the skills. So if it shows up in your shop and you don't take it, then you're in big trouble. Let's just re-roll. That's still nothing there. Nah, we're not going to banish anything. We could banish that. And Area of Effect and Crit Chance. Alright, let's see how quickly we can kill this Lexi um, without having our split arrow. It's got a lot of stacks of poison on them so far. The only thing with poison is it doesn't... Uh, I feel like the damage it does is over 5 seconds or whatever the case may be. So you don't see that damage immediately. Uh, you have to wait a couple of seconds and then you see that, that nice juicy chunk of health disappear. Actually, okay, let's just power up quickly. So over here you can see it deals damage over 25 seconds. And this one deals it over 25 seconds as well. So like I said, you don't see the damage happen immediately. It does take uh, a lot of time. We, we could have gone for the bleed, but uh, the whole point of this daily challenge, guys, is to play with just poison skills. So I like to stay true to the theme. So I don't grab the chance to do doom, the chance to do bleed, the chance to burn. Yes, it would go a lot quicker. Yes, it's a lot easier. Uh, but I like to challenge myself even more. And I like to stick to the purely poison concept. So if it isn't poison or a buff, we don't grab it. Alright, we're still waiting for festering strike, unfortunately. Uh, it will be nice once we get it because it is a melee skill, so it deals damage as well as requires the poison. Where these skills, are, like Poison Cloud, I believe, only deals the poison damage. I don't see it doing. It deals 114 damage, so you don't even notice the damage on the enemies that it deals. But the poison itself is very, very strong. Let's just get flat damage done. Still nothing. Still nothing. Okay, potency of buffs. About 15%. I mean, it increases the mart buff or the attack speed. What is that? I've done 3.4 seconds and 2.4 seconds. Let's grab attack speed. So it went down to 2.2 and 3.1. <clears throat> Maybe we can start getting them to even less cooldown. It is all RNG, so again, you know, it's just random. You get what you're given, unfortunately. Like for me, I got two legendaries. So I'm happy to get what I'm given. Still takes a really long time to kill things because we are playing a damage over time build, not like the bleed one which is over less time. But poison's definitely fun to play with. Green is my favorite color, so seeing a lot of it on the screen is cool for me. Maybe not so much for you. Okay, damage, still nothing. Increase the area of effect, sure. Now our poison bomb hits even more enemies. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but there was a number there on the enemy. It was 5,000. Uh, that was the damage of the poison stacks. So they really do a lot of damage. We just need to stack them up. All 
rat. Let's go. He's got plenty of stacks on him. We could just run away and he will be dead. Which is another cool thing about uh, playing damage over time builds. You really don't have to worry about uh, killing something or staying near it. You just need to whack it with some stacks. And it will die over time. Always been a fan of mages and damage over times. They're not the strongest, unfortunately, but they are really, really cool. We're gonna go for the. How much crit do we have? We got 50% crit, I'm happy with that, so we're going with the damage. And then we'll go for crit potency. 50% is more than enough, but that just literally means we either crit or we don't. But we have double cast and we've got, uh, well, on these two skills, we've actually got triple cast. So we're more than likely going to poison, I mean crit. All right, so there's quite a lot of XP there on the floor. Thank you, we finally got it. And we can now get rid of piercing strike. Perfect. Took so long, but we finally got our festering strike. We are too good. We are too good at this. So apparently to to like you know beat the world record palms that are out in the demo at the moment. The best thing to do is to hug the walls. But we aren't a wall hugger. So <laughs> I'm not out there to beat any world records. I've never been. Uh, there are a couple of Vampire Survivors videos I've got where, like my you know, recent one from Friday, where we do some. Uh, we make it onto the records, but we didn't beat any world record we didn't rank one not that it actually matters but what I'm just saying is it's it's not something that's important to me I play games for fun and just enjoy the game itself I'm not looking to break games or you know as funny as that might be uh, or fun as that might be it's not for me Alright, so we've got one more. Uh, we're on 13 minutes, so poison is a very, very slow build. However, picking up those legendaries. So good. I will not stop saying it. Because to get two in one run is a very, very low chance. And then if we got a third one here, whew, even less chance but is there a chance of it happening yes there is uh, let's get crit potency here um, the reason for that is it buffs everything where the 20 percent damage for just festering strike is only for its physical hit not for the actual poison and we're not looking to do a huge chunk on the physical side of things anyway. I mean this is my thought process at least. I could be wrong. I could finish a minute faster if I took the 20% on physical damage opposed to more crit potency. You could let me know in the comments if you're still watching here and heard that. Otherwise, I don't know. That's just my thought process, at least. Crit multiplier over 20% damage on one skill just seems like it's a lot better to me. All right, we got two level ups. Let's see, area of effect of poison. See, if it was damage for just poison, then yes. But because it was for a specific poison type, I mean for melee, 
for the actual physical hit, so it's not worth it. Area of effect would be worth it. Um, okay. Beautiful. We'll wait for a second level, but if before we get that level we spawn Alexi, we'll just level up. Because I tend to forget that we've got the levels and then I don't use them. Alright, so we leveled up just when we got him. 30% extra crit potency, definitely, and the... Yeah, in this case we'll just go damage for Frostbolt. <clears throat> Again, it only increases the damage of the crossbolt. They're not talking about poison damage, as far as I understand it. Uh, let's have a look here. Maybe they are talking about poison damage. Well, in this case, it must be because this doesn't do damage. It only does poison damage. So it must be 20% poison damage. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, poison's pretty strong. I mean, look how we just wrecked that Lexi with 100 poison stacks. Easy game, easy life. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Cheers.